Hi, thanks for coming to this video. This is the Apogee Rocketry Workshop and we're building the Hellerock, so stay tuned. Hi, I'm Tim Van Milligan from Apogee Components. Uh, we're in the middle of the construction of the Hellerock and we're at the step where we're going to install the blades. Now this is another tricky part. Uh, this is why this is a skill level 4 kit. Uh, what we have to do is we have to glue the hinge right here against the tube. And we're gluing a flat hinge against a curved tube, so there's not going to be a lot of glue surface. Um, so first we have to position the blade right, and, and per the instructions, um, they go between the fins. Try to start with one of the fins that doesn't have the launch look on it. It's a little easier to see what's going on. Okay, so you're going to lay the fin, the blade, to the back edge, and then run it along the tube, and then you can nudge it forward so that it's just below the little support right here. And that's where it's going to get glued down. And we're going to do all three blades, um, but once you get one down, and then when you flip it over, the blade is going to want to come down and it get, kind of gets in the way. So a little trick that you might use is to put all the blades on just temporarily. And then take a rubber band, one of the rubber bands that's in the kit, and just put it over the, the top like that. And that keeps the blades from falling when you rotate the rocket over. So we'll do this one first. So I have it in position where I want it to go. And I'm going to lift up the flap. And I'm going to put just a little dot of glue on it. And this is just to tack it down. This is not actually what holds it against the tube. Um, we're going to put some string on it later, which takes up all the stress. So it's just a little dot, and I'm going to press it down like that. And then carefully I'm going to rotate the rocket and then do the next one. That's going to go right there. Again, be careful that you don't get any glue into that hinge because if you do, it's going to be locked in there permanently and basically you're going to have to peel off the hinge and get a new hinge and then start over. Trying to get all my blades even here on the top. And rotate it down like that. Okay. So now they aren't very strong at this point. Um, so you have to be very careful. Don't don't let the blades flip out and then. Um, Knock a, knock a hinge off, otherwise you have to do it again. Um, the string right here gets wrapped around the perimeter. Maybe you can see it in this one. So it gets wrapped around, and that's what holds these, these hinges down to the tube, and it gives it all its strength. Once the string is on, they're very strong. Um, you'll notice that the, uh, the little hinges have little holes in them. And that's really nice and convenient. Um, I'm going to take some thin super glue. Whenever I use thin, I've got to use my glasses because you don't want it splashing in your eye. And I want to stiffen up the edge of, of the string and just put a little drop on. Okay, so now it's, it's I can feel it's stiffer. <laughs> um, and I want to cut off the, the frayed edge, and that's pretty much why I did this. I want to cut off that frayed edge. So now i got a nice little sharp point, and I can thread that through one of the hinge holes, just like that. And I'm going to tie a little knot right here. And I'm going to take the thin again. 
be very careful with the thin because you don't want to use a lot. I just want to tack that knot in place. Okay. And once it's tacked down, I'm going to cut off the excess string. And I'm going to take the, the string and wrap around the, the hinges in a spiral pattern. Okay, so I'm pretty much, I've gone all the way around. Now I'm going to take my thin, carefully smear thin CA into the string. Be very careful that you don't get near that hinge pin. The glue is actually wicking through the fibers of the string, so it doesn't take a lot of glue. And I'm going to take my super glue accelerator. Oops. Things are always falling off the table. Okay, and I'm just wiping it off. And so now string is locked down against the tube, this excess I can cut off. So I can pull this off and hopefully my hinges still work. Yes they do, they're, they're, uh, they're flapping really nice and easily, which means that I didn't get glue into the hinge. So now my blades are permanently attached. So um, the next step is to add the dihedral stops, and those are these right here, these little wedges, and they get glued right in the middle of the blade, and you can see this, this little flat edge right here gets glued so it's over the top of the hinge like that, so that when the blade rotates up, it will stop up against the tube and it gives a dihedral, which is an upward tilt of the blade. So that's where the, each of the dihedral, uh, dihedral stops has to go. Make sure they're they're straight along the blades. Kind of treat them like fins again, and look down the look down the blade. Make sure they're nice and straight. And you can see it's going to. Oops, I got this one too far forward. If it's too far forward, it's it's you know don't fret because it's balsa wood, so you can actually sand it. Okay, that's better. Like that. So I'm going to glue these on, and that will be the end of this video. And then in the next one, we'll put on the rubber band guides. And we're getting close to being done. My name again is Tim Van Milligan. You're watching the Apogee Rocketry Workshop. May the winds be light, may the skies be blue, and may all your rockets fly straight and true.